Hi, this is Ian Coleman from Signal Center. Welcome to this week's video analysis. We're going to be covering all the FX majors, dollar index, uh, highlighting chart formations, bespoke support and resistance levels, and basically what we think is going to be happening uh, this week. So let's go and have a look at the charts. We're going to start off with the dollar index. Here we can see uh, the weekly chart. We've had a bearish Elliott wave count uh, to the downside. Been holding within this wedge formation for quite some time now. Actually 40 weeks. Um, we've posted or we've reversed all of last week's losses. Could be seen as an inverted hammer formation. Uh, the bias is now uh, to the downside. If we go to the daily chart, here we can see a bearish outside day. Uh, that candle formation often indicates the end of a trend and the start of a new downward bias. We have got trend line support here, uh, which comes in around about 97.38. So we've seen two days of net losses going, uh, or Thursday and Friday of last week. Could see another day of net losses and then maybe some stalling in price action and a small corrective move to the upside. The measured move target is down here, uh, and that is also a uh, 261.8% Fibonacci level. So it all lines up uh, quite well. So what we're really looking for uh, next week is to sell into uh, any uh, dollar bounces. If we go to Euro dollar, let's go to the weekly chart first. Levels close to the 61.8% Fibonacci uh, found some buying interest. Again, opposite to the dollar index, got a bullish count to the upside. Very mixed. Uh, volatile trading uh, for about the last 40 weeks. If we go to the daily chart, that mixed and volatile trading has actually posted uh, two wedge formations. So we've got this outside wedge and then we've got this inside wedge formation. We've got a trend of lower highs at 122, sorry, 112.24. But this level up here is quite important. We've got the measured move target for this inside wedge. 114 uh, 48 at the beginning of this week if we go to the intraday chart remembering where that um, where that wedge target is we've got this trend of lower highs we've got some beast boat resistance as well at 112 32 so although we are bullish over the long term I think again the scope for maybe a mild correction uh, at the beginning of next week which I believe will offer opportunities to buy into uh, any sort of euro uh, weakness 161.8% uh, extension at 113.20 and then the 261.8 um, extension at 114.52 which is very close to this uh, this wedge target so just to reiterate what we're looking at we're bullish overall I think uh, mild buying at the beginning of next week could then see a small correction to the downside uh, and then looking for these uh, wave or, or Fibonacci extension levels uh, to take euro dollar higher if we look at cable we're still holding on to this monthly bullish uh, candle got a bullish outside month which was posted uh, in january of this year has an eventual bias to break to the upside through this wedge formation. Uh, I posted this last month, 131.86. Now, that's the level that we needed to close this month above uh, to keep a bullish count. Um, and we did see quite an aggressive move to the downside. If we go to the daily chart, we've got a reverse formation. So we've got a morning uh, doji star formation. That formation often indicates the end of a trend the start of a new upward bias. Reverse trend line resistance, and again, quite important, located at 128.06, pretty close to the previous uh, swing high, was at, which was at 128.13. If we go to this time frame, we've got our bespoke re uh, resistance levels. So one here, and then up here, 128.01. So remember, we've got that reverse trend line resistance of 128.06, lines up pretty well with some Fibonacci levels. 128.12 is a 261.8% extension. So again, we're immediately bullish uh, over the short term, but then I think we might see a deeper correction to possibly form a reverse head and shoulders pattern. So this would be the head. 
this will be the le uh, left shoulder this potentially of course it's not formed yet uh, will be the neckline then a move back in a corrective formation uh, to form uh, the right shoulder dollar swiss another one that's playing out quite well uh, to fibonacci levels at the moment bullish outside sorry bearish outside candle posted on the weekly chart again quite an important level 99.24 uh, is the trend of higher lows if we go to a shorter time frame Elliott wave formation to the downside 99.38 very close to that aforementioned uh, trend line support and then we've actually got uh, some bespoke support at 99.33 so again immediately bearish but only over the short term and then perhaps a corrective bounce this reverse trend line will be quite interesting if we get down to that level uh, to, to look at shorts over the uh, the long uh, to medium term dollar yen let's go to the weekly chart first here we can see a bearish outside week again posted at the high uh, in a large triangle formation there's really no clear indication uh, that this sell-off is coming to an end just looking for the price tab on here price label so we've got this trend line support coming in around about 108.40 if we go to shorter time frame let's go to this time frame first actually daily chart bullish count to the upside and then it's been quite an aggressive corrective uh, move to the downside um, an ABCD formation would take us down to here uh, which is around about 107.50 uh, we have got some bespoke support at this level uh, at the beginning of next week 108.90 so really need to break uh, that support level to continue uh, this move to the downside in dollar yen dollar cad and this is the only one really of the major currency pairs or the dollar major currency pairs uh, that has um, economic uh, releases next week of any really significant um, interest in the market it's the Canadian uh, interest rate decision on Thursday uh, so we could see a move in the Canadian dollar which would be nice because we have stagnated for quite some time now got a bearish outside candle on the weekly chart we've also posted what we call a DMARC 13 count on the weekly chart that often highlights the end of a trend and the start of a new downward bias we've seen some inside soldiers posted on the weekly chart and that highlights uh, investor indecision if we go to the daily chart here we can see uh, that mixed volatile trading um, we might be forming uh, a diamond uh, formation here a, a topping pattern um, we've actually had have a look 22 days of pretty mixed volatile trading uh, this is prime area as far as I'm concerned to get short uh, remember we've got that 13 count so we really should be selling into rallies got a 78.6 percent Fibonacci pullback level around about 135.35 and then the trend of higher highs at 135.61 offering quite a decent sort of shorting area uh, to the upside um, the measured move target for this formation is down here uh, which is around about 131.15 uh, Aussie dollar and again sort of we're stalled but we haven't taken um, any sort of strength from this stalling uh, and we haven't taken any strength really from uh, from the dollar weakness uh, that we saw last week we've seen two up days um, we had that gap open closed pretty quickly um, we've got quite a lot in the way of uh, bespoke resistance 78.6 percent uh, Fibonacci pullback level uh, seems to have stalled uh, the sell-off we are bullish but we're wary that we haven't really got any uh, reversal formations yet um, it's working out pretty well with fibs we've got a 161.8 percent extension level on friday at 69.30 we've got our bespoke uh, resistance uh, at 69.35 uh, just stopped short of that actually on friday but um, commodity currencies sometimes they run to 423.6 percent uh, which is up here at 70 uh, 35 we've got bespoke resistance at 70 25 so we're going to see how uh, this uh, major currency pair 
plays out at the beginning of next week. Uh, really looking at uh, getting long, just buying dips again uh, for uh, a further move to the upside. Euro sterling. Let's look at the monthly chart first. Here we can see a bullish Elliott wave count to the upside. We formed a, a wedge formation. We've broken lower. Uh, I don't believe that the A, B, uh, C, D formation has completed. Uh, we've got reverse trend line resistance at 88, 87 uh, this week. If we go to shorter time frames, sorry, let's go to the daily chart. Uh, we've got a 161.8% extension level located at 8877, uh, which is also pretty close uh, to that reverse trend line resistance that we just mentioned. Um, if it is a corrective formation, and all these corrective formations are normally in three or five waves, we could quite possibly uh, stall up here at 8877 um, and complete just a three wave correction before we have a deeper free wave correction uh, to the downside and that's my belief obviously we've had uh, Theresa May resigning on Friday uh, that's given Sterling a bit of a bit of a boost is, is it going to really sort of power through uh, cable uh, we'll have to wait and see but that's the level that I'm looking at uh, at the beginning of this week to the downside 87.35 is our bespoke support euro yen and this is also making me wonder whether or not we'll get just a little bit more of a corrective move to the downside in uh, euro dollar we had an impulsive move higher again all these inside waves are counted in three waves which highlights that it should be corrective this last wave down possibly in five waves we formed an ending wedge pattern uh, a break of 123.38 and the measured move target is up here 126.81 uh, to the downside we've got the fib level 122.15 and then we've got um, the trend of lower lows at 121.82. And it's really that level uh, that I'm going to be looking at to see whether or not we get a reaction to the upside. OK, uh, I hope you've enjoyed that analysis. All the best of luck for this week. And uh, we'll speak to you again soon. Many thanks.